Here's our Luffy. Here's our Nala. Here's our Lila. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Simba is somewhere over there. And yeah, we have stayed in this place. They sell caravans here. They also have like a RV shop, so all that you can need for cleaning and purposes and everything. Two days free parking and you get all that for free. But anyway, off we go to a very important place that we go in. I don't know if I'm pointed at because you I know my arm is not. My camera. I don't really trust you <laughs> holding this camera one with just one hand. All right, so we're going to drive three hours today and we're heading towards Dumpster Doggy, which is an association here in Turkey that takes care of all the dogs outside in the street and they like take them to the bed if they need surgery they go through it they give them food they are angels on earth they do it based on donation so we're gonna go visit them and see all this wonderful work that they do this does not like the rain <laughs> I don't know if you can see him, but like in the little whiskers in his head, uh -huh. you can see them going like this. It's raining really hard right now. There's puddles and everything everywhere. Okay, we just got some breakfast from Starbucks. Because breakfast of champions. We're that American. <gasps> don't show up my goodies. I'm not. I'm, I have a really close up <laughs> of your face. <laughs> oh, thank you. Nala, how are you doing, baby? Who's that baby dog? Yeah, that's you with those crazy big ears. <laughs> No, 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 Nobody called you. Nobody called you except Dada, and he doesn't mean it. And now that Simba has given us permission, it's time to hit the road. Unbelievable. In a matter of five minutes, the landscape has changed so much. The weather has changed so much. And the roads. So there are a ton of mosquitoes here. <laughs> here we are. We are in Aktesh Kalesi and we have put in this um, stop to actually spend the night because you can park your RV or your van here but we're not. We're going a little bit further to be closer to dumpster doggies but we had to stop because this is a real unique, I will say, um, castle. Kalesi means castle. Yeah. And we're gonna try something that we have been seeing in the uh, signs, the in the road, street yeah. signs uh, for the last 15 minutes, which is Saj Tava. Mm -hmm. Kava? Tava? Tava. Saj Tava. Tava. Have no idea what it is. <laughs> so we'll see. And everybody's like looking at us and smiling. <laughs> and they look like they saw at Nala. Uh, they saw Nala and Simba before. So I don't know if they're like, oh, they have animals. They're nice people. Or they're just here. <laughs> I think having animals make me a little bit more approachable. You think I, so? I think if I'm walking around with Nala, I'm more approachable than without Nala. For some reason, it might seem like I have a... Ooh, bread. Oh, heck, heck, heck. <laughs> I walk around with a smile, so I don't look like an angry black guy, but I think that I think for some reason, especially when I have a beard, my international don't F with me beard, that really puts people off. and. I don't think I'm making a good point if I call it my international don't F with me beard. But, yeah. People get scared of Nala, so that's so good. Big. Because if they're scared of Nala, that means they're not scared of me, they're scared of Nala. So that's my way of looking at it. People might look at me like, oh, hey, and they're looking at me like, Ooh. And I'm like, yeah, see, it's a dog, it's not me. Simba, on the other hand, Simba just makes me look like I, something's wrong with me or I'm the most friendliest person in the yeah, world. Yeah, because you're all huge, big, and black, and then you have a tiny little blonde cat. I like I like your description of me. So much, I really appreciate that. That's my description. Yeah, huge, big, black. I'm like, okay, I guess that's what I am. With love. With love and a smile. Yes. <laughs> I see peppers and tomatoes and I see onions. I need to try this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Better with the rice? Mm -hmm. Okay, my turn. If I wasn't a fat ass, I would say you can eat this just with the smell, but no, I gotta eat it. Mm. Oh, yeah. What, you gonna make one of your tapas? Tapas? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. What? What happened? 
What is that face for? Because I'm about to be real American. Oh no, you went from being Spanish and getting a tapa <laughs> to make a freaking burger. <laughs> <laughs> you are disgrace. <laughs> oh yeah, this is perfect. Let me let me let that just stay right there, soak up some juices. The juices are at the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna get that too, don't worry. Make sure I get that. Yeah, get those juices in there, that's it. Yeah, you know, you like that. There we go. Oh yes, look at it getting on there. Mm. Then you put that right there. Oh yes. Oh. You don't look like a fat ass at all. I feel like a good one though. <laughs> mm. Yes. It seemed like you have given up on life. <laughs> I mean, the plan was not to come all over here, but I'm happy we're here. Yeah. It means less to do in the morning and yeah. you get straight to straight to business, right, Simba? Oh, come on. I, now I, I took a bath, okay? I mean, a shower. A bath? I'm like, where? <laughs> I want to take a bath, too. Hey, Simba. Can I talk to my son without being interrupted? I see him, boy. It's been a long drive, more than expected. Initially, we were gonna drive only for one hour and a half. Then it became three hours because we wanted to be closer. And, and then it became four and, and a half. And it's been four and a half. <laughs> Castamono, I um, hope it's pronounced like that, is that city over there, huge, it seems. And then tomorrow morning, we'll go to Dumpster Doggies. Dumpster Doggies. So excited to go see the doggies, even though we're gonna cry so much. Yes, we are. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. You have a shade. I'm not looking behind me. No, just sideways. <laughs> uh, can you help me? Huh? Can you save me? How? <laughs> You're the cat whisperer, apparently. I am not the damn cat whisperer. I'm not the cat person. I'm not the cat pet or dad. Give me that food. Huh. I done left the food over there. Hey, look at him, he's sitting so cute too. He was sitting. Okay, he went under the van. Where's the keys? Okay. Sarah, how much, how much, how much? Baby, you already have a cat. Hi, son. Oh, you hear him? Yes. That's not really a sound I want to hear at night time, though. I think it's by the window. I think it's on the other side. Yeah. No, I don't see it. Can you see that, baby? Eric, coming out of your camera. Yeah, it's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is wrong with Mama, huh? What is wrong? <laughs> This is her way of saying thank you for rescuing me one year ago. Look at you, I'd appreciate just a lick. Oof, Simba also gave us a gift. Where's Ah, this is. Ah, oh, my nose. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. Just like another camera. No, don't do it. I don't do it. I see you. I still ah! <laughs> Actually, when we park somewhere, I send Lilas to walk the kids, even though they drive him crazy because they all want to go to a different place. And in the meantime, I set up our living space. Um, Nala's bed and Simba's bed are usually right here in the middle when we drive. So these drawers don't open because they don't all have like secure things and you know we have some other stuff that i will have to remove open the windows and make it fixable so when they come they can just come and relax
After getting ready, we met up with the owners of Dumpster Doggies, and they were kind enough to get translators for us because we needed them. But as soon as we arrived to their facility and seen the amount of dogs they were tending to every day, we knew we were in for some serious heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Many dogs were happy to see people, but there were still those that kept their distance out of fear and trauma. It's very expensive for them, but they still do it. Yeah, so in, in this city, we don't have many opportunities. So that's why it, it needs to go to another city. It's super expensive, but they are trying their best, basically. Now everything is stuck and why they decide to open a, a shelter for dogs. And the ones they have also expensive, mm -hmm. so they decide to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. In this place, there is only the ones uh, which they cannot survive outside. Mm -hmm. Do they get any help from the government or from the delegacy? It is crazy that it's only husband and wife doing all this work to take care of these animals and without any help from the government. Not only that, but they also feed about 500 other animals in the streets. You keeping all that to yourself? Come running up It's a blind. Yes. Mm. Come on, you're my boyfriend? Let's go. I got two boyfriends. I got this boyfriend and I got the other boyfriends. I hate stopping a video or breaking into it like this, but I think visual representation is important here. Maria and I are truly thankful and grateful that people like this exist because we're always thinking about what would have happened to Nala if we didn't pick her up that day. And honestly, it breaks our hearts every time. So we're, it feels good knowing and knowing that people like this are out there. And we believe there are even more. So we're calling on those of you to help in any way that you can, whether it's donating money because a dollar goes a long way to feeding some puppies and providing medical care, or your time by volunteering if you can make it out there because who doesn't want some love and cuddles for a day? Like I, I can't think of imagining anybody doesn't want love and cuddles for a day. But if you're like me and you want love and cuddles for a lot longer than a day, like let's say a lifetime, you can adopt. Seriously, take the love and cuddles home with you. Who doesn't want to snuggle up to these faces? Look at them. Even though right now I sound like I'm pimping out dogs. But anyway, guys, however you can help, it is much appreciated. And all the information is down in the description. Mamucho's out.